Charleston is one of our favorite hikes. The area is quiet, has a generally good feel to it. And because we hike this area often, we were really interested in the history. The area around Charleston has been used for centuries by native cultures. Keyberry was a native settlement just up the river. Uh, that was later turned into a Spanish presidio. Charleston proper was a mining and milling town. It became part of the Little Boquias Ranch later on, and then during World War II, the Little Boquias Ranch leased it and other areas to the military as a training and artillery range for the Buffalo soldiers out of Fort Huachuca. Um, like most of these old towns, Charleston no longer resembles what it was. The area is completely grown over, the streets are gone, the buildings are mostly gone, and hardly anything remains. After seeing the old maps and photos and archival footage from World War II, we decided that we were going to try to find the places in the photos and film, as well as find the streets and the layout of the town. The old adobe is slowly turning back to dirt, and some of the buildings have fallen back into the river, which makes being 100% accurate unlikely, but it was a fun project nonetheless. Um, using Google Maps and GPS, we can approximate most, if not all, of the locations. So we're going to do our best in these videos to try to line everything up and uh, just have fun doing it. So uh, here we go. The first location we will attempt to find is a machine gun position taken from World War II archival footage. At that time, many of the buildings in Charleston were intact, likely destroyed or damaged as a result of training for the war. Unlike during World War II, this area is heavily overgrown, which makes lining up landmarks a bit difficult. Using Google Maps, the mountains in the picture, the position of the machine gun, and our GPS plots for the ruins of the buildings, I was able to get a general idea of where the machine gun was located. I further narrowed it down to a specific location, which on Google Maps lined up perfectly. You be the judge. I'll put a link to our videos about the Charleston Maneuver Area and Range Complexes in the description. The hike to the potential machine gun position is about three-tenths of a mile. It's a very easy hike from the Charleston Millville Trailhead. As we got closer to the river, we found an area that had been excavated, and it was in the general area where the machine gun position might be. At first it was pretty promising, but as we plotted the landmarks, we were able to rule this spot out. The archival photo shows the town of Charleston in front of the machine gun with the mountains behind it, which would mean the machine gun was in a position southwest of the town, and the machine gun was pointing northeast. From this position, if one were to point northeast, there would be no town between them and the mountains. This wasn't the spot. Having ruled this spot out, we needed to hike northwest to get to the original spot. Although it seemed a bit strange to me to have a machine gun position in the river, I mean, it was World War II, they were training for the war. Seems like the most likely position based on what I had researched, so we had to go with what we had. Um, right now the river's running really high and full and there were plenty of people having a good time and playing in the water. But even with the river running high like that, the water was nowhere near where we thought the machine, machine gun position to be. Now we hiked to the spot and even with all the trees and scrub, it looked like a very good match for the archival photo. Uh, we could even see some of the ruins of the town up on the walls across the river. Now this area has been cleaned of munitions and ordnance at least once, so the likelihood of finding any evidence here was slim. Um, we didn't make any huge finds, but we did solve something that we were curious about since we did the video about the Charleston Maneuver Area and Range Complex number one, I think it was. But anyway, thanks for watching.